Kia ora tātou. Um, I think the lovely Marion Blake is sitting right at the back, so you get me. <laughs> uh, Philip Gaines, I'm the project manager for New Zealand Navigator. I'm employed by Platform Trust, um, who is one of the community partners for this initiative. As Pinky said, I'm going to tell you what New Zealand Navigator is not before I start to tell you about what it is. Uh, it is not a whanau order initiative, um, it is not a service type, and it's not a role that looks suspiciously like uh, social work or community support work back in the day. So those are the things that it's not, uh, but what it is, is a free... You know, how do I walk you through this? Okay, it's a free online tool, lots of discussion about capability of your board, uh, fit for purpose, leadership, governance, development. This is about your organisation and your organisation's strengths and capacity um, within your communities to deliver on, on community aims and objectives. Um, and it's free. So what is free these days? Not much. So I'm talking about technology and then technology doesn't work. <laughs> it's going to happen. So these are the community partners. So this is a collaborative initiative. This tool is actually owned and governed by a community. Uh, it was funded by the Department of Internal Affairs under what was known as Charity Services. So these are the partners, Angoa, Platform Trust, Bishop's Action Foundation, Social Development Partners and the Department of Internal Affairs. Uh, so we're a happy partnership. Um, the development reflects that partnership because we've spent, it's probably been three years in the making, one way or another, to get to the point that we are. want to do it. Um, lots of people talk about strong individuals, strong families, uh, leading to strong communities. We need strong organisations leading to strong communities. So these are the benefits for your organisation and, and actually undertaking this tool. And I'm going to have this problem all the way through. <laughs> so this is an example, very quickly. Just flash through it. These are the nine domains, and I picked governance as an example of, of just to give you an idea how this works. So go again. Here are four or five questions that we put against each domain, give you an idea about what you might see if you, if you go online with this tool. Go again. Each question has answered or answers organised into five ratings. Go. At risk, vulnerable, viable, successful, and thriving. Go again. So those ratings convert to a score. And what do you need to do? Go again. You need to select the description that best uh, describes your organisation. So here's an example. Does the governing group have a clear understanding of their roles and responsibilities? Go. And here are the five descriptors. So all you need to do is pick the one that you think reflects your organisation right now. So pick. There go. And of course, you're all successful. <laughs> so go again. What you get out of this is you get um, multiple things, actually. You get a report with a spider graph in it, uh, and I'll talk a bit about spider graphs as we go through, a tailored report card, and some proven resources. So this uh, tool draws on community data, and it pulls across resources automatically into your report um, when you choose those domains. Um, obviously, it's going to pick more, more resources around those areas of deficiency. Go again. So this is a spider graph, so it converts your scores into an image. Um, spider graph zero being at the centre and five thriving being on the outside against those nine domains. Go. This is a bit of an advert for Community Net. So this is a resource maintained by Department of Internal Affairs. They've recently upgraded it and we pulled data live directly from it. We really push the PDSA cycle in this so you get some responses so you get a report about your organisation, what you're going to do with it. Uh, so we encourage you to use the PDSA check or PDCA, depending if you're a Sherwood or Deming follower. Uh, 
plan do study at? You've got you've got your uh, report. How then are you going to move forward? Go again. And comparisons. So do it this year, and then do it next year, and then do it the year after that. In fact, do it whenever you like, and you can get a report showing you your progress over time. Go. Come visit us. Uh, Marion and I are manning the stand just around the corner here uh, with New Zealand Navigator. We've got a uh, tool live at the moment, and we've got some resources that we can show you. So and and a bookmark. Come and take a bookmark. It's got the URL on it. We will do some benchmark reports in the future, but we haven't enough numbers. We've only got 200 signed up in the last month, only 200 signed up in the last month. I think that's fantastic. So thank you for those in the room that have. Um, we'll see you at our place. Let's have lunch. Yeah.